Our African champion is next right about now, so stay tuned for that as well. African champions. African champions. African champions. African champions. Dr. Basso and Zeze from South Africa is our African champion. You be champion. Now, Dr. Basso and Zenze is a senior lecturer with the most with most of his teaching focused on technology dynamics in international relations, international law, political history, and Africa-China relations in the Department of Politics and International Relations at the University of Johannesburg. Now, the interesting thing about this is that he is the youngest head of department uh, at the University of Johannesburg. And this is because South Africa is uh, actually marking South Africa Youth Month the entire month of June. And like I said, if you should go back and watch the movie Sarafina, which is actually based on a true story, a true event that actually took place in South Africa, you would understand. And uh, this particular, you know, uh, month is a remembrance of the events that took place. And, well, I'll get the, the actual date day from Miami. Mean, now, on that particular day, everybody's supposed to dress as a student. Yes, you need to wear that school uniform generally. Yeah, you need to be in a school uniform just to commemorate that day. Because Sarafina movie is a huge movie. It is. I used to have this. We, I think that the time we dropped the, a soundtrack to that movie, it feature, uh, it, it actually uh, stars one of uh, this Hollywood names. What's her name again? Whoopi Goldberg. Yes, she's, she's in that movie as well. So it's a big thing to have a 25-year-old Dr. Basil Nzenze heading a department in the university uh, at the University of um, Johannesburg. So this happened on the 1st of June this year. Dr. Uh, Nzenze was appointed as the head of department at the Department of Politics and International Relations at the University of Johannesburg, making him the youngest head of the department in, in um, South Africa. So that's a plus, you know, while we're actually championing uh, this particular month of youth in South Africa based on uh, the, the events that happened, uh, especially in the Sarafina movie, which is actually on the, on the real event. So it, it's good to have a young blood in a department that normally or traditionally, you know, is headed by, I mean, talking about our, our, our fathers and our uncles and our grandfathers. So you're looking at, because to head a department, you're looking at someone from the ages of 50, so, yeah, maybe late 40s, 50s, 60s, actually, the professors and what have you. But at the age of 25, he's actually a doctor. So that's a, pl that's, that's a big thing. Now, Dr. Nzenze sees his new role as an opportunity to mentor more scholars who can, through impactful research and academic work, contribute towards efforts to solve the problems in the country and on the African continent and even other parts of the world. Now, his other affiliations include the African Center for the Study of the United States, that is WITS, and the African Policy Research Institute, where he is a research fellow with a focus on digital policy. Guy has a lot on his table and he's doing it. Yes, he's making it happen. As a researcher, Dr. Nzenze has published multiple books uh, book chapters, journal articles, and opinion articles. Now, the central theme of his research is Africa's international relations with a focus on the political economy of its trade. Currently, he is, on, he is he's working on understanding the role of trade in the relationship between African countries and the People's Republic of China compared to Taiwan, officially the Republic of China, since the early 2000s. Emerging technologies in international relations and the international political economy of interstate war in late 20th century East Africa. In all these areas, I mean, he, he applied the lens of opportunity, uh, cost, and utilizes quantitative and data uh, from open and original data sets as well as interviews. I mean, guy, guy is well learned. For a 25 year old, that's no joke. You know, celebrating the South African Youth Month, 
that's the thing we're talking about. So yeah, I mean he's he's like he's embedded in the youth, uh, what do you call it, uh, parade or the youth uh, agenda. Okay, because they are or we are the youth, the, the, the future leaders of Africa. So kudos to Dr. Basso Ndende for uh, your new position and, cha and of course, uh, continue to uh, actually champion and inspire, you know, uh, the youth across the continent and, of course, the rest of the world. Enjoy the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.